What's up my friends? So in this video, I am going to show you how you can create this really cool shutter effect. And for this effect, you need to have multiple clips stacked on top of each other. So for this effect to work out pretty well, you want to have a strong first clip. I want to see this finger. And when I see this finger, I want this video clip up here fall over the finger. Okay, so now we are going to create the shutter effect. Go to the start of this video clip, select the video clip, move to your fusion tab, and in here you want to select this node, and then you hit shift spacebar, and that will open up the effects tools. Okay, so you can type in different effects, and we want to search for transform node. Type in transform, and here you see transform XF node, and you are going to edit. Right up here is the node that you can start to manipulate. You go to your inspector tool, and when you have your inspector tool open, you see that you can change this video clip. You can pull it up, down, left, right. If you double click on center, you will put the clip back to normal. What we want to do is we want to tell Da Vinci that from this point on, the video needs to go up. To manipulate this, we want to add a keyframe. And you see these diamonds on the side here, that's a keyframe. So if I click on this, I will tell Da Vinci, hey, from this moment on, I want to start this video clip all the way up. Until here. And then I want to move five frames to the right. So count one, two, three, four, five. You see this red line, five frames to the right. And then I want to move it down. And you will see DaVinci Resolve automatically hit a keyframe. So if you move it down, it will hit that keyframe. Or you can simply type in 0 0.5. So now let me show you what we created. Go back to the edit page. So we start here and slowly this clip will pull over the other clip. So we go back to this video clip, click on the fusion tab. We want to click on the transform node. We go to settings and then we want to enable motion blur. And if we now go to the right, you see it increased the motion blur. I want to set the quality to five Ooh. or maybe even a bit more. Boom, this looks really awesome. So let's go back, boom. And the next step is to check when this falls down, you want this clip to also come in. Something like fall down and then boom, move to this clip. So let's do exactly the same once again. Move to your fusion tab. We hit shift spacebar, add transform node. So we want to tell DaVinci from this moment on, you need to start this effect. So we put it all the way up and then we go five frames to the right, one, two, three, four, five, and then we type in 0 0.5. We're going to add this motion blur, put it to six, and then we created the second effect. So basically what we just learned, I did that for every single clip. Right up here you see, it comes in, the next one comes in, and the next one comes in, and so on and so on. This effect is nothing without music and without some cool sound effects. So what I did is I added a basic shutter sound effect from a camera. It sounds like this. I basically just copy this effect and put it under each transition of each clip. So then it sounds something like Pretty cool. So what I want is a little soft whoosh when he puts up his finger. So I added also a little whoosh at the beginning. I want to have also a whoosh at the end when he is jumping from the sand. So you have like a, okay, <laughs> something like this. To make the whole effect complete, I want to have a riser, and that is to build the tension of the effect. And that's how I built this effect. Thank you so much for the support. Leave something in the comment, and as always, I am going to check you out in my next video. Bye-bye.